By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to go viral in your next YouTube short because you're gonna have the four principles that are showing on the, oh wait, they're not showing on the screen right now. That's because I haven't spoken about them yet. Every time I mention one of these principles, one of them is gonna be unlocked, but all you need to know for the sake of this video is these four principles are gonna allow you to go viral on YouTube shorts. This creator got over a million views using them. This creator, over 5 million views. And this creator got over 200 million views on a single video and gained over 1 million subscribers in just a 24 hour period by going viral on YouTube shorts and the same exact thing can happen to you if you implement the four principles that I'm about to share with you in this video. Principle number one is that you need to be spending more time on the actual idea that you're gonna be using in your YouTube short than actually creating the video. So many creators, especially small creators, spend all of their time actually creating their content, editing their content, getting the right shot for their content, and none of that matters if the content idea isn't good and if the title isn't good. If you mess up those two things, you know what's gonna happen? Nobody's gonna see your videos. You wanna know why? Because the YouTube algorithm is very, very, very simple. It's not trying to find viewers for your videos. That is where most creators go wrong. They think the YouTube algorithm is trying to find people for their video that they put a lot of time and effort into. And I hate to break it to you, Timmy, but that's not how it works. But before I can explain to you exactly how the algorithm works, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, you need to make sure that you do not miss another video that I upload. In addition to that, I create content on how to grow on TikTok and how to grow on Instagram. I literally upload every single day on YouTube, so please make sure you're subscribed. In addition to that, I created a free YouTube growth course. You can get it at the link in the pinned comment below. It's gonna tell you things like the best time to be posting on YouTube or what hashtags you should or should not be using in your YouTube shorts. Okay, so to put the YouTube algorithm in perspective for you, YouTube is not actually finding viewers for your videos. Instead, they have people that are interested in certain topics and then they show them videos about those topics. So if you're not tapping into a topic or an idea or ideally two or three topics or ideas on YouTube, that is why your videos are getting no views. You could have a subpar video, a mediocre video with a really good idea and a really good title and you're gonna get way more views than the creator that spends weeks and weeks and weeks actually creating his content. For example, Tuvok12 is one of those creators that I mentioned earlier in the video that got over 200 million views on a single video and he has since switched up his content. He's switching up his content because he's trying to add more flavor to it. But you guys need to understand something and his content does a great job of actually exemplifying this. His most recent content is about bowling. His past content did really, really well was about basketball. Now can somebody say why his basketball videos got more views than his bowling videos? Let me know in the comment section below. You got it right. It's because there is a way bigger audience on YouTube for basketball content than there is for bowling content. Both these types of videos get the same click-through rate. They both get the same amount of watch time. They're both really good pieces of content, but the major difference is actually in how large of an audience he's going after, and you guys need to recognize this. I upload videos about how to grow on YouTube, how to grow on Instagram, how to grow on TikTok. I'm not expecting my videos to go viral like Logan Pauls. I'm not expecting my videos to go viral like David Dobrik's. And it isn't only the content idea that actually affects how many views you get on your videos, it's also the frequency in which you upload. I'll give you a prime example. If you look at everybody that posts in the Hadagra on YouTube space, there are about 500,000 to a million people that look at this niche every single month. If you look at all of our views on YouTube, you'll see that everybody gets around that many views aggregate. They might get more if they post about other things, but on average, they get that many views. Now, some people, like myself, upload multiple videos a week. Other people upload one video every one or two weeks. So those people get more views per video, but as an aggregate, we're all getting the same amount of views. And this is something that you need to be paying attention to in your niche because you might be comparing yourself to a competitor, not looking at the aggregate number of views and you think that your content isn't as good and that might not actually be the case. In fact, I wanna make the argument right now that you'd be better off uploading more videos, getting less views per video, but getting the same amount of aggregate views because you can provide more examples in your content. You can talk about new things. You can relate to people in a different way. And ultimately that is gonna result in you getting more subscribers. Now, that was just one principle. We need to go through three more and I need to remind you guys, the last principle that we talk about, if you skip the last principle, you might as well just shoot yourself in the foot because you're never gonna go viral on YouTube shorts. And this brings me to the second principle that you guys need to be focused on, and it's the actual volume of content that you're putting out. On YouTube Shorts, you can upload multiple times a day. With long form content, I would not recommend uploading multiple times a day. I would only upload once a day at most if you're doing long form content. There are only a few creators that have actually cracked this, and the only reason that they've cracked it is because they're uploading newsworthy content. That being said, you guys need to be posting at least one time a day on YouTube Shorts. Ideally, you should be posting more often. You need to understand something. Social media is just like basketball, 
basketball, it's just like baseball, it's just like golf. The more that you do it, the better you're going to get, the better of a creator you're gonna become, the better you're gonna be at editing videos, the better you're gonna be at coming up with titles, the better you're going to be at coming up with video ideas, and that is why your videos are gonna do better the higher amount of volume of content you put out. Now eventually you can pull back, but in order to get your first viral video on YouTube Shorts, I would recommend uploading more often. Now, if you're strapped for time and you don't think that you could upload multiple times a day on YouTube Shorts, I'm gonna share with you a secret that you can implement later on in this video that's gonna allow you to put out multiple YouTube Shorts every single day, but you guys need to realize something. If you're not putting out enough content and you're not being consistent, which by the way, posting consistently on YouTube is one of the biggest things that you can do. Don't upload one time a day for a week if you're not gonna be able to sustain that for the long haul. The main thing that YouTube wants to see, and you see this in all big YouTube creators, when they take a break and then they come back, their views suffer. If they miss an upload, their views suffer. So please, do not miss an upload. Make sure you're putting out content consistently. Make sure you're putting out enough content that you're actually putting in the reps and being able to see which ideas work and which titles work and which thumbnails work. Because if you're not doing that in your content, you're not giving yourself an honest shot at becoming a YouTuber, at fulfilling your dreams, at being able to quit your job, at being able to scale your business, at going viral on YouTube Shorts. Principle number three is that when you find something that works, you need to double down on it. Luis literally went from 300 subscribers to over 40,000 subscribers by uploading almost the same video over and over and over again. Now let me explain for all the haters that are gonna say she just does the same video. She doesn't actually do the same video. She uses a title that she knows works. She uses a description format that she knows works. She uses a video format that she knows works and that is what has allowed her to gain so many subscribers so quickly. This is the same thing as somebody uploading about how to grow on TikTok. Always uploading videos about how to grow on TikTok. They don't try to post something about this. They don't try to post something about that. The same way that if you were doing a crypto channel, you're not gonna go randomly talk about the housing market going up. Why? Because you want to be focused on your niche. You guys need to be niched down on YouTube. The easiest way for you to get initial growth on YouTube is to be niche down, to actually relate to that audience, to bring a new point of view into whatever niche you're in. And please, do not make the mistake of saying that a niche is flooded. No niche is flooded on YouTube. That does not exist. Now, of course, if you try to get into finance, and you don't have a unique perspective, Graham Stephan is gonna get more views than you. You can't just copy Graham Stephan's videos. But if you do those videos with a different twist that relates to other people, well then guess what? You can break into any niche on YouTube. In fact, I would be scared if you said, Rob, I'm going into a niche that has no competition. I would say, you're going into a niche that has no viewers. And if there are no viewers, YouTube isn't gonna give you any views. So please, make sure that you're actually niching down and going into a niche that is worth going after. And this brings me to principle number four, which actually ties into number three, which is please never be the first person to talk about a topic. You wanna to be going after topics. You wanna to be going after things that are trending. You wanna be going after things that have worked for somebody else. Why? Because you might not just get that initial first view, but you might get somebody else's remnant views. Let me give you an example. Whenever Gary Vee, who I used to work for, talks about TikTok, guess what happens? My views about videos on TikTok skyrocket, not because search results increase, because YouTube says, hey, these people just watch a 30 minute video by Gary about how to grow on TikTok or how important TikTok is, why don't we then recommend them more videos? And the same exact thing is going to happen in your niche. This is why you guys need to make sure that you're making videos that are complementary to what other big people are putting out in your niche or stuff that people are searching for within your niche. Now, if you're struggling and have absolutely no idea what you should be posting on YouTube, you don't know what titles to be using, don't know what thumbnails to be using, and you want content ideas, and honestly, you want me to look at your account and tell you exactly what I would do to guarantee that you grow, like every other example that I've showed you in this video, then keep watching this video because I'm gonna show you a way that I can guarantee that I can help you grow on YouTube. Finally, I just launched my YouTube Shorts Mentorship Program, which guarantees that I can help you grow on YouTube in just 30 days. If you wanna find out more, go to the link in the description, but to put it simply, you're gonna go through six steps to becoming a YouTube Shorts expert. Then I'm gonna make you a personalized plan. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, what titles to use, what thumbnails to use, what descriptions to use, what tags to use, what your content should actually look like, how your editing should be, and so much more. And then for the next 30 days, I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you grow. It's incredibly simple. If you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, I'm gonna give you your money back, zero questions. This is not just a course. This is not just information. It's me actually telling you exactly what to do, critiquing you, consulting, me coaching you on how to be a full-time YouTuber, how to grow on YouTube, how to reach your goals on YouTube. And again, if you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, you get your money back, zero questions asked. There's absolutely no risk for signing up. The only risk is not taking advantage of this situation right now with YouTube shorts and growing on YouTube. So please do not be somebody that does that. That being said, if you're not interested, just watch the next two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.